Hi there. It's been a while. Anyways. I've been playing a lot of games. And I've been recording a lot of games. I tend to like playing games. As you can see with the main theme of this channel. Anyways, I have been a little bit busy and I've started a little bit of a project and that's what this whole Fallout 4 playthrough is uh, about. It's a creative project. Basically, I'm going to play through Fallout 4, take a bunch of notes, really like role play while playing and then write a story afterwards. Either based on like, you know, the sole survivor's way through the commonwealth and stuff like that. See if I can do an as good or if better version of the story or just my own version. Uh, or take what I have learned and experienced through this whole endeavor and write a story kind of inspired by it based off of, you know, uh, Fallout 4 is of course being like the person out of time and stuff like that. So, what else is there for this channel? Well, I've got plenty of recordings in the backlog. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? And that's mostly what I'm going to be uploading right now. Uh, other than some new stuff I might record. Uh, of course, this little creative series that I want to try out. And I'm also going to be uh, upgrading my capture card. So, you know, this uh, doesn't look that good. I'm not going to lie. And initially I was fine with it because this is just me personal recording purposes and anyone else who sees this and likes it uh, that's a bonus but i thought if i'm going to be uploading this might as well make it not absolute garbage you know i tend to uh, pride myself on making stuff look good plus it'll just be fun to have it look nice and then upload it anyways I'm going to let the video actually play. I might chime in here and there with commentary, but this series is mostly going to be without. So uh, please enjoy and have a good time with Fallout 4. My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. 
peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. I think the opening of Fallout 4 is really good. We get to start in pre-war America on October 23rd, 2077, which is the day the bombs fell. Ah, we get to morning, see sir. that pre-war America for just a moment. Like the last time we saw pre-war America, I believe was in Fallout Thanks, 1 cousin. in the opening cutscene. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hey, hon. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's going to love the speech. Hmm. More the same. Someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. So we should go over what this run will entail uh, so I don't have to piece it in every time it shows up. We're going to be playing on survival difficulty. On top of that, I'm going to be trying my best to not skip any dialogue or terminals, have to, you know, go through everything or read anything that Nate would be interested in as we're doing a full, like, character immersion play, like we're trying to get into the head of Nate. On top of that, that means we're going to be trying to do things as Nate would do them. So, personally, I don't believe Nate would join the Raiders at Nuka World. Even though the most optimal way to do it would be to do Nuka World without meeting Preston and then meet Preston and kill the Nuka World Raiders. But we're not looking for an optimal play here. That also means that basically Nate is going to be very one track minded. His entire purpose is going to be one figuring out his new place in the world and trying to find Sean. Once Sean is met or Nate knows about Sean being okay, then he can really start to slow down. Not that this is going to be a speed run or a particularly fast playthrough, but Nate has a sense of urgency here. He's not going to dilly-dally with five million side quests when he has a lead on where his son would be. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. 
Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Nate, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth, what's wrong? So here I kind of debated on whether or not I was going to actually play as Nate or Nora. I ended up siding with Nate mostly because I think his voice acting is better personally and his voiceovers in the very beginning and very end of the game uh, just kind of fit with him being the main character so, and the sole survivor. And I chose his specials mostly just to fit Gorgon. like a good starting Castlevania. build, like plenty of XP points. Uh, gonna want charisma in the future for settlements and companions oh we, and just bartering to to and vault. stuff in general. Now. Um, so a very basic God's layout. Worth. Stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. We're not okay, in the vault go ahead. program. Thank you. Oh God, Good luck, ma'am. You two, God follow me. All. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside we're the doing gate? everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on!
We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please, step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we'd no. all be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Everything okay? This is our new home. Hey there. Welcome to your new home. Up the stairs, please. What? what? What's going on? Hey there. We'll get everyone through this as quickly as possible. Just head up the stairs. is here for you. All new residents, please proceed in an orderly fashion. Welcome home. Mail. Hey. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. One vault suit. Now just head Female down the hall. Infant. Good. Over there. Take a suit. Each of you take hey. one of these. Just yeah. step over to the table. Vault suits. It's uh, down the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. How, what if they didn't make it? How long do you I think we'll be down here? Time. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to Just get checking first everyone off the list as they come in. Fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey. <clears throat> Could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three.
There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Then I'll get Sean back. I promise. Why would Voltaire do this? Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? They're all dead. Why? Why'd they do this?
giant roaches. What the hell? here. Where is everyone? Is this all that's left?
Nice. Coming back later for you. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech.
as I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Well, it's something. Let it serve as a reminder, sir, of happier days. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Nate, give me the word, sir, and I'll initiate my search protocols. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Come out and not this time. Come on. Hug it off. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Family isn't here. I 
mother. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? There we go. I'm coming, buddy.